Some music of an unusual or experimental nature did get recorded or did get released. Now look at who the executives were in those companies at those times. Not hip young guys. These were cigar chomping old guys who looked at the product that came and said, I don't know. Who knows what it is? Record it, stick it out of itself. All right. We were better off with those guys than we are now with the supposedly hip young executives, you know, who are making the decisions of what people should see and hear in the marketplace. These, the young guys are more conservative and more dangerous to the art form than the old guys with the cigars ever were. And you know how these young guys got in there? The old guy with a cigar one day goes, ah, well, I took a chance. It went out and we sold a few million units. All right, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Well, we got to do more. I need some advice. Let's get a hippie in here. So they hire a hippie. He becomes an A&R man. From there, you know, moving up and up and up, next thing you know, he's got his feet on the desk, and he's saying, well, we can't take a chance on this, because it's just simply, that's not what the kids really want, and I, and I know, you know, and they got that attitude, and the day you get rid of that attitude and get back to, who knows, take a chance, you know, that, that entrepreneurial spirit where, even if you don't like or understand what the record is that's coming in the door, the person who is in the executive chair may not be the final arbiter of taste of the entire population.